To boxing, blah blah blah, where we blah 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 about everything boxing. Boy, look. So we talking this Devin Haney, Lomachenko fight coming this weekend. What you got on it, huh? You play some bets, huh? What you doing? What you doing with your life, huh? Hmm. Huh? I mean, uh, I think I might, I ain't play, mm. all right, so I think Devin Haney is the favorite, right? Loma is a very live underdog. I might have to go on ahead and put a little something on Loma right quick, uh, just because he's a live underdog. Am I going to Devin Haney? Yeah, Devin Haney should wipe his nose. Um, but oof, Loma is a live underdog. So if I was just to slide a little quick little $100 bill somewhere, it'll probably go Loma. Because I think uh, I think Loma's plus 271 or something like that. Devin is like minus 271 or something like that. So I think if I put like, yeah, if I put 100 on Devin, I probably only win like about 30 something bucks or something like that. If I put it on Loma, mm hmm do the math on that. What's the math on that? It's like 600 bucks or something like that. Maybe closer to seven. So we, <sighs> I haven't done the math. I'm just throwing numbers out there right quick. But let's talk about the fight. Uh, Devin Haney is definitely younger, taller, faster, uh, stronger. Mm, don't know. But younger, taller, faster. Um, Lomachenko has experience. Um, he has beaten people like uh, Gary Russell Jr., uh, Nicholas Walters, uh, Rigondeau. Now, I think Nicholas Walters was a little overhyped uh, just because he knocked out Donair. I think, you know, people had him above what he might have been. Um, Rigondeau, uh, I think he was coming up in weight. So Rigondeau was like little, little, incy beansy. He's a little witty, witty, bitty guy. Uh, he can box his butt off, but two great boxers and one is Incy Bincy. The Incy Bincy wins probably going to lose that. And he did. Um, so I don't want to take any credit away from Loma. Loma probably has the best resume out of all the lightweights. But Loma got two losses too. I think Loma's record's, what, 15 and two or something like that? I mean, he, he doesn't even have 20 fights yet, I don't believe. So it's like, uh, yeah, you did a lot of stuff as an amateur, Loma, I understand. And I'm a fan of your footwork, Loma, I'm not gonna even lie to you, baby. Not gonna even lie to you. I'm a fan of your footwork, I'm a fan of your movement, I like how you be training sometimes with your, with your unorthodox training and things like that, but uh, I'm picking Devin. Because uh, Devin got a long jab, man. I think Devin's one of the tallest lightweights out there, and he's the undisputed champion. Got a lot of confidence under his belt right now, under all his belts. Undisputed champion. All pun intended. Hey, y'all. Um, and I think it's a reason why everyone kept de dodging Devin. Uh, Devin had a belt for a while now because he had Loma Chico's belt. Remember, he was supposed to fight Loma Chico for his belt. Loma's like, oh, I'll take the franchise and uh, uh, I'll go fight Tio. And so that's how Devin got the belt. So if it's a belt out there, why no one else wanted to get it if Devin was such easy work? I don't think that's the case. I think a lot of them went to the uh, amateurs, or well, not went to the amateurs, but participated in, 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 in the amateurs around the same time frame. You know who's good and who ain't good. Think about when you was uh, in your own neighborhood, right? And uh, certain folks wanting to play basketball, right? Same group of folks playing basketball. Over a period of time, maybe a game or two, you figure out who the best people are. So it's like when you go out there, you say, who got next? 
And be like, all right, you got next, you picking your team. You, you know how you go out there, you start picking out who you want on your team. So as soon as they finish, like, nah, you can stay out here with me. You gonna play, you playing. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't pick you, buddy. But you playing, you playing, come on, we're going. And then it's, it becomes pretty much so consistent like that. It's always like the two or three top players in the neighborhood and you got three or four more that's right there. A few more less than that, a few more less than that. And some you just hate to have to pick them. They're like, oh damn, you last one, okay, come on. You see what I'm saying? So if all of them were in the amateurs together, they know who is the truth. So if Devin was just easy work, why not go get that belt right quick when he had one? Now he got four. If it's easy work, want someone to go ahead and, and step up and become undisputed. So far, the shortest one is the one stepping up. Wait, is Loma taller than Tank? Okay. Maybe not the shortest one stepping up, but one of the shortest ones stepping up. For real though, is, is Loma taller than Tank? <laughs> like, dang, okay. I'll, I'll look it up. Y'all look it up for me right quick. Um, I'm recording right now, as you see. Hell. So, um, one of the shorter ones is stepping up to the plate to fight Devin. And part of it is because he's old and it's his last chance. He's still with top rank, easy fight to make. Um, Devin is not known for being a big puncher, so it's uh, it's not a real high risk for Loma. He can just get outworked. Like against T.O., it was like a chance you might get flattened. So I think that's why he was so hesitant to throw a punch in the first six rounds against T.O. Because it was a chance he'd get flattened. Against Devin, I don't think he, he sees that same chance of getting flattened by Devin. So he may stay in the pocket and try to work a little bit more. Or might try to shoot some counters off. But I think Devin's hands are way faster than Tiafimo's. And I think that's what's going to give uh, Loma some problems. I think Devin's jab is too long, too strong, too, too quick. Um, and Devin's been developing that right hand. You saw it against Cambosis. Uh, Devin is good with rolling and countering, slipping and countering, things like that. And he got those, uh, he got them young fella knees, young fella lim, lim, uh, 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 limbs and, and ligaments and all that kind of stuff. When you got young fella ligaments, it's like, Spah! those counter punches come out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Spah! And they come from different angles. Loma used to have all that young ligament kind of stuff. Uh, they trying to get you to, to believe that he still got some good ligaments, but uh, time is undefeated, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Loma is 34 now, had how many amateur fights? Like, I think they said like 350 something amateur fights or something like that. I mean, so that's a lot of training camps, that's a lot of training, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of wear and tear. Uh, now, as a professional, he ain't had that many fights. But they say he's staying in shape all the time. So that may save him as he's getting up in age by the fact that he only had about 15 to 17 fights, pro. Um, so, you know, we're going, we're going to find out. But Loma's definitely a live underdog. I can't even act like he's not. He's a live underdog. Uh, Devin Haney, if he wins this fight, I think you have to take him seriously now. You know, he got, he's undisputed, but they're going to say, eh, but he got him from Cambosos. Don't forget, Cambosos uh, outboxed Tiafimo Lopez, who outboxed Lomachenko. You see what I'm saying? So it's like the man who beat the man. Why y'all mad that Devin Haney went over to Australia to go beat the guy who beat the guy? That beat the guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm thinking it's going to be like this. I think uh, Loma's going to get outworked. Uh, he'll have a few little spots where he gets a little bit anxious, like, okay, I got to win this round. But I think he's going to see it's very hard to catch up with Devin Haney with the reach and Devin Haney's foot speed. Devin Haney has great foot speed as well, uh, just great athletic ability. And I think that right there uh, is going to help. If Loma fought Devin four years ago, like when Devin was initially asking for the fight, I think it would have been a lot closer fight. Maybe Loma may have pulled it out. I was still thinking that Devin then, but uh, Loma may, may have pulled that one out. But now it's four years later. Uh, Devin is, 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 is far more confident in who he is as a fighter. He's accomplished now, things like that. So uh, I think it's going to be Devin Haney. Um, probably, and I know it's top rank, and I know top rank want to keep those belts, and I know top rank likes to root for Lomachenko like, like it's their mama's son or something like that. But if it's anywhere close and they go to decision, it's probably going Loma. It, but I'm thinking Devin Haney should be able to make it a snooze fest. 
to be honest with you, where it's just, you know, a bunch of, this is pa, 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 this is pa, this is, this is pa, and you just can't really touch him. Lomo will get gunshot, stuff like that. So, well, we'll see. But um, let me know in the comments who you think will win, uh, what you think will happen. I think it'll be a decision victory for Devin Haney. Um, I think the eyeball test will say it's a lot further of a victory than I think the scorecards will say. Um, and I might put some money on Loma. So let me know who you're going to put money on. Let me know who you think is really going to win. Um, and uh, share, share, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Share, comment, like, subscribe to your boy. This is AWMIT with Almighty Athletics. You have been listening to boxing, blah, 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 where we blah, blah, blah about everything boxing. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Almighty Athletics, and I am signing out.